guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Sub. The Turtle Sub was a new vehicle seen in the Ninja Turtles cartoon series, and it's one that I was really hoping would be made into a toy, but I gotta say, it's not exactly what I was hoping for. But let's go ahead and check this thing out. As you can see, the Turtle Sub comes in window box packaging that fully showcases both the sub and the included exclusive Diver Donnie action figure within. Flipping that box over to the back side, we get a look at the toys within the box, as well as kind of a chart that shows you all the different little features that this particular sub includes. Pulling the turtle sub out of the box, there's very minor assembly required. Basically all you've got to do is kind of plug in the little radar dish on the top, plug in the missiles into the firing ports, and you're ready to go. Now the overall sculpt of this is pretty well done. Playmates did a great job of capturing the look of the turtle sub right out of the cartoon series and bringing it into toy form. It's very lightweight, but that's because it's hollow inside because you can fit your Diver Donnie figure in there, which I'm going to show you in just a bit. But first, let's go ahead and just look at the overall design of this thing. It's really well done with sort of a green body there that kind of is shaped like a shell, the way the little rivets and everything work sculpted in there. It does have some nice silver paintwork on there as well, and also does have little fins kind of sticking off of each side of it, which are ball jointed, so you can rotate the fins around if you want to. And then to complete the sea turtle look, the front of it does have this nice kind of boxy turtle head sticking off of it, which is really cool. It's got big green eyes on the front there and kind of a red stripe going across the front of it. Overall, I really like the design of this. I think it's really neat looking. And like I said, looks the way the sub did in the cartoon series. Flipping it over to the underside, you'll notice that there are three wheels on there. So that way you can actually roll this across the ground, use it as a land vehicle if you want to. But of course, this is a sub. So, you know, if you want to play with it in the bathtub or anything like that, hey, I'm not going to stop you. And of course, there are a fun few features on here as well. So let's go ahead and go back to the head of the turtle there. You'll notice that there's a little lever on the right side. When you push that lever forward, it opens and closes the mouth, and it's even got a little spring mechanism in there, so it snaps back on its own. It's a pretty fun little feature, and that way you can get it kind of opening and closing, maybe attacking some of the bad guys. And then on either side of the sub, there are two little missile launchers. Now, the left one is the only one that functions as a rocket firing piece. You'll notice that there's a little button on the top, and when you press it, it shoots out the black projectile missile. The one on the right hand side works more as a storage part, it doesn't actually fire the missile. So once you fire off the one from the left cannon, you can then pull the missile out of the right cannon, plug it into the left, and then fire that one. So overall, it looks like a pretty fun vehicle, right? Now I mentioned at the beginning that it didn't turn out quite like I was hoping, and now I'm going to show you why. Here it is standing alongside the included exclusive Diver Donnie action figure. Yeah, look at the scale between these things. In the cartoon series, the turtle sub is at least as big as the shell razor, if not a little bit bigger, meaning it should be able to house all four turtles on the inside. For some reason, Playmates opted to make the turtle sub just a one-man vehicle, so it's tiny. Now, it does have the ability to fit a figure on the inside. You just open up the shell portion on the back of the turtle, which actually reveals little handles and a little screen on the inside that's got a sticker on it that shows the giant fish that was attacking the sub in the cartoon. You can then take your little Donatello figure and you can sort of lay him face down on there. You can have him holding onto the handles if you want to on the top, and that way his face is just right up in that screen that he's looking at. It is worth noting that it's a really tight squeeze. You have to fit them in there just the right way in order to get them to fit inside of this. But once you do, you can then close the lid and then you've got Don on the inside of the turtle sub. Now, one thing that that kind of made me think of since it was such a tight fit is if it would fit any other figure. So I went ahead and grabbed the basic Donatello figure and it turns out he doesn't quite fit as well. You can see for some reason, I don't know if it's because the feet are longer or what, but he doesn't fit in there. It's a really tight fit. And in order to get him to fit in all the way, you have to lay his hands down at his side instead of up holding onto the handle. So definitely something worth noting. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Diver Don figure that's included. 
Basically, you can chalk this up as one of those silly variants of the Ninja Turtles. It's a Donatello figure wearing scuba gear. And it's a really neat looking figure, I will give it that. He's got really nice paint deco on there where he's wearing sort of a wetsuit that's colored purple and yellow and black with lots of little silver dials and everything on there. He's got a cool little silver watch even on his wrist. Articulation on it is a little more basic than what we've seen with some of the turtles, but heads on a ball joint so it can move left and right and kind of roll all the way around. You got those same ball joints at the shoulder so the arms can go outwards, forwards, backwards. Swivels at the elbow as well as a standard elbow bend, but no swivels at the wrist on this guy. He does have the nice hinge joints at the thigh, so the legs can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. And then he's got swivels at the knees, as well as knee joints. So you should still be able to get some pretty cool poses out of him, but the fact that his wrists don't swivel does make it a little hard to hold on to his included bow staff weapon. So yeah, he does include one bow staff weapon that's got a blade at the end of it. It's done in a solid black plastic, and you can store it on his back there. And of course you can get him to hold on to it for battle. And another cool feature, it actually clips onto the top of the turtle sub. For a second weapon, he actually has a small knife which he can sheath down on his ankle, which I think is a really cool touch. It's done in that same solid black plastic, and you can get him to hold it in either one of his hands as well. So there you go guys, there's a look at the brand new turtle sub with the Diver Don action figure. The Diver Don that's included is nothing more than a silly variant, but it's always cool getting an exclusive figure to come with your vehicle. So I definitely don't mind the fact that it was included. The Turtle Sub itself though, I do sort of wish was done bigger. Even if it was the same size as the Shell Razor toy, I think that would have been much cooler because then it would be a larger scale vehicle that we could put a few figures on the inside and it would have done a much better job of capturing the way it looked in the cartoon series. But nonetheless, even if it's a one man vehicle, it's still a fun toy. I still like the overall look and design of this particular vehicle, and it should be a lot of fun, especially if you plan to play with these guys in the water. I think kids will have a lot of fun with this particular vehicle. So the Turtle Sub with Diver Don should be hitting retail stores right now, so happy hunting, and until next time.